about some dating topic. A lot of people are very, very frustrated out there. They're getting depressed. They're thinking that they're never going to meet anybody. They're tired of online dating. They're tired of being set up, blind dates. They just want things to work. But what's happening is they're forgetting about who they are as a person and they're feeling inadequate. They feel that there's just nobody out there for them. So they start thinking that they're just not valuable, that they're not, they don't have something to offer. But I want to tell you, you are more than enough. Everybody has great qualities. Everybody has something to offer. Don't get stuck in this place where you think because you're not meeting somebody that you're not good enough or you're not hot enough or you're not skinny enough. You're everything and more. But people start getting insecure because they allow maybe one or two comments or maybe being ghosted a few times or somebody's, you know, bailing on them and, you know, after one or two dates where they felt something was going on and it ended up not happening. Everything that we want in life doesn't get handed to us. Well, some people get it, do get that happening, but for the majority of, of people out there, it takes work to get things that you want in your life. You have goals, you have aspirations and things that you need to obtain to get there. But for some reason, we tend to think that relationships should just be boom, just like that, handed to us. Why do I have to date for more than two months? It should be happening already. We get frustrated, we give up. Don't you want it to take a little bit longer time so that you've actually gone and had experiences and learned from things? I, I, I really find that people are getting depressed about it because they want instant gratification. But online dating is kind of a disaster because it's so easy to just move on to the next person. So what's happening is we can always, you know, everybody thinks they can do better. They're not gonna settle. So all of a sudden they look around and they go, okay, I'm not in a relationship and I'm in my th mid thirties. What's going on here? Find out why, look at everything and start saying to yourself, am I choosing the same people all the time? Do I have too high of expectations? Are my expectations not high enough? Am I only going for a certain type that drives me crazy and there's so much drama involved? Because I think what's happening is we're not sort of varying our choices when we're dating. We're kind of sticking to the same thing that isn't working for us. And so what happens is it starts to play so much on your self-worth. I always say to people to vary up the playing field, okay? I don't mean go out and, and, and play games and all that, but vary it up so that you try different things. It's like, it's like trying a new sport or, or trying a new hobby. Like if you're doing the same thing constantly over and over again, you're going to get bored. So it's the same with dating the same type of people over again. If it's not working for you, there's reason. So just change it up a little bit. Take a little bit of a break, but never lose your self-esteem about who you are because every one of us has something to offer. Every one of us is worthy of having love in our life. And every one of us is special. So even if you meet some mean ass person out there that you're dating and they do something to squash you and make you feel less than, you've got to get out and talk to somebody about it and, and learn how to counsel yourself or get some help somewhere else. Because the less you think about yourself as the years go by, the harder it is to give yourself to somebody. So understand that you're always worth being in a loving relationship. Don't let anybody squash you. Take some time out and enjoy dating. It can be a lot of fun, but vary up, vary it up there. Like get some new things happening if it's not working for you. Thanks everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. What, did, what happened? Did you get yourself in a rut where you started feeling kind of bummed out or depressed about what wasn't going on? I'd like to hear from you and maybe it can help others too. Thanks for everything. Bye-bye.
Cause I believed your lies Took a chance on something 